Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mark from SSI and I'm back with episode number two of Carbo Space Program. Um, unfortunately I have some bad news. We're gonna go and save Jack Kerman, but unfortunately he has already been saved by whoever saved him. I don't know who saved him, but somebody saved him and there is something over there on the map and I have no idea what it is. But, I want to go check it out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go make a spaceship and fly over there. What I'm actually going to do is make a plane. That's right. Today, we're going to do space planes. And unfortunately, I am horrible at space planes. So, this is going to be really interesting to see how this is going to work out. Um, I may end up just getting my own or using one of the models because I'm horrible. Alright. So, first thing first, we're going to start with a cockpit, and then after we start with that cockpit, we need to get some goodies. As you can see, I have way too many engines. I just, uh, I have too many, too many, too many. Okay, so, some jet fuel. I think that's, I think that's in order, considering we're going to be building a jet, necessarily. Not a space plane yet, but it will be eventually. Okay, so... We need engines, so let's take this, put an engine on the back here, and, okay, so we're going to need a rudder. Hmm. <laughs> Gosh, it's f too many things, too many. Okay, so we'll take, we'll put a rudder over there, and let's take these two Ginormous wings set on symmetry or turn on symmetry. Uh, that turn on symmetry. Um, put those on. Put those control surfaces. Control surfaces are very very important. They allow you to actually control the plane that you are flying instead of being a backseat driver to it, which is never good. And I should not use these control surfaces because they're big and. They, they, I believe those are the ones meant for like the space shuttle, so meant meant for like re-entry and stuff like that. And we're not going to be going into into the outer atmosphere or out of the atmosphere with this plane because it is, of course, a jet plane. And um, yeah, we don't have any rockets on here, so we can't actually we we can't get the f uh, the full way out of the atmosphere, unfortunately. All right, so. Alright, so we need wind wheels, landing gear, so I'm going to put two of them on the wing over here. Oh, and also, as you, I, I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but I'm turning these, um, as you can see, just spinning them around and stuff like that, and I'm actually doing that with W, A, S, and D. Alright, come on, work with me, there we go. And E and stuff like that, and I'm just pushing the buttons and they're turning it the way I want it to be. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's nothing overly difficult. Alright, so now we got ourselves a little plane. Attach this there, and now we're gonna also have to feed oxygen to this plane, but I don't think it will be too much of an issue. I'm just gonna put one ear in ear. Air intake, that's what I wanted to say on this. You know what, I'm gonna put two, just cause I can. Alright, so I'm going to put two air intakes, and you know what, I'm going to call this a MiG, just because it looks like a MiG, like it's small and has ginormous wings, so I'm going to call it a MiG, and I'm going to save it, and now it's pretty much just time to launch it, I'll show you guys how to launch it, it's really, it shouldn't be all that difficult. Alright, so first things first, the butt is going to be down lower because of where I positioned the wheels in the back here. They're higher, of course. Brakes. This is where the brakes come in that I showed you guys in episode one. Um, so, brakes. That's about it. There's, I was thinking that that would be something I'd explain, but really, there is no point to explaining brakes. They're just simply brakes. <laughs> um, ah, also, getting back onto the topic of why we decided to build a little jet plane, the original thought process of me was to go and save Jack Kerman but of course as you can see Jack Kerman's right there um, when I 
was going to be ending the flight, I did not have the option of going back to the space center. I only had the option of ending the flight. So unfortunately, that automatically transports him back here and he's all safe and sound. So now it's time to just take off. So I'm gonna throttle up, I'm gonna hit the space button. So it's actually gonna start up my engine. And as you can see, fumes are gonna go out the back. Take off the brakes. And we should start rolling on. There we go, we're gonna start rolling in a second. Or, we are rolling. I'm gonna gain speed, and... Uh, we're going to destroy our motor, just cause like that. Oh, we're gonna destroy more stuff. Oh, oh! We're gonna continue turning, and... Oh, 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 that's, that's nice. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, nice flip. Oh, wow. Nice and stable. Oh, okay. Nice, okay. Well, that went well for our first flight. Okay. End flight. And flight. Restart flight. Alright, let's start. Once again, hopefully it won't fail as much. Alright, so full power, full thrust, and let's... I'm gonna try to get this up to a higher speed. Ah, and just barely touch it. Just baby touches. Baby touches. Oh gosh, the engine is starting to overheat, and let's see if I can go vertical, can I go vertical? Yes, I can actually go vertical, yay! The problem is, is that, oh wow, I can, I'm actually just, wow! Oh, and G to bring the gears back in, so they fold all nice and pretty. That's crazy, I was actually going vertical without me having to do anything. Alright, so I'm going to throttle down just because... I don't actually need to worry too much about the throttle right at this moment. Or I don't need to worry about um, fuel and stuff like that just at this moment. Okay, fuel's being used out of there. Alright. Yeah, the one, the biggest issue with um, planes is... Whoa! Wow, this thing is extremely... Minimal. Okay, so I'm going to turn on fine movements, which again is caps lock for those of you who forgot. Um... And it's really, wow. It's because, the, see, I'm used to flying bigger planes. Like, I can show you um, bigger planes and all different kinds of fun goodies like that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to fly around. And you know what? That thing that I spotted on the map, we'll visit that next uh, next episode. Or not next episode. Ah, I can't think of it in a later episode that's what it is and of course these fly just like normal planes you want to roll the plane and then start the turn it usually works a lot better that way it's ah oh gosh a lot better that is horrible words it just functions better that way all right now if you can see off in the very distance there's a little runway we are going to start heading towards that Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. Be nice to me. So we're just cruising along. La da 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 da. We're gonna see my horrific landing skills in just a second. And we can actually. Oh gosh! Alright, there we go. We can actually use the nav. There, this. To actually see how badly I am flying this. Alright. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh no, I did not line that up well at all. Okay. Oh gosh, we're starting to overheat. Yeah, overheat also occurs at different altitudes. Depending on how fast you're going and good fun stuff like that. Um, it takes a bunch of different uh, situations into consideration. Alright, so now I gotta try to ease this down just ever so slightly okay i'm gonna throttle actually way 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 down um just because i don't need a ridiculous amount of throttle or I, I don't need the power that this ship has or this plane has to offer me all that i need is just a little bit more control uh, 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 pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up Alright, there we go. Alright, 
Oh gosh, oh gosh. Watch, I'm not gonna be able to land this on the actual landing pad. I'm gonna end up having to go on the ground. I'm hoping that. I'm hoping I'll be able to turn myself enough in order to get onto it. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, be nice to me. Oh, this plane is dancing too much. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh no, I pulled my nose. Uh, too much, too much. I. Yep, I'm gonna miss the runway. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. Okay. Maybe I won't miss him anyway. Oh! Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay! <laughs> oh no! That means we lost him! Oh no! Oh gosh! Poor guy! Oh. oh. Darn it. Oh no, we still have Jack! How do we still have Jack? I thought we just killed Jack. Oh well. I'm gonna take off. Just because I can, and I'll I'll show you some landing really quickly, because I think I, I need to I need to show you guys my horrific landing skills. <laughs> All right? Ah, oh, darn it! Hey, okay. brakes! I'm just gonna break. Or oh, ripped the entire ship apart. That works too. Yep. See, there you go. Nice. And that nice and quickly. Alright. Throttle up again. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna get this right one time. Watch. I'm gonna get it right. Hopefully. We'll see though. Alright. Ah, there we go. Alright, so now... I'm going to pretty much go out a little bit. I'm going to watch my engine continuously continue to overheat, which is awesome. I, I always love it when my engines are overheating. Okay. Now, I'm going to go down. Whoa, come on, come on. And pull up and throttle up. Come on. Let's see if I can do a flip. Maybe I'll be able to do a flip. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on. Finish. 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 Yes. Awesome. I was able to do a flip. Actually makes me feel really confident. Okay, so now I need to throttle down quite a bit because I'm going to be coming in for another landing. Except for this time I'm going to use the wider and better landing area. Okay. So now let me dip that nose down a little bit more. Watch this horrible, horrible flying going on. Uh, throttle up, throttle up, throttle up. Uh, kill the throttle. Alright. Now I'm just going to glide my way to the ground. What? Oh, okay. That's not bad. Hit the brakes. Fortunately, I can't take off again, but I landed. You know to say? Come on, brakes, brakes. Come on, brakes. You're working, right? Yeah, yeah. You're working, right, brakes? Ah, yes, they are. Awesome. So now let's go EVA with Jack here. All right, so let me let go. He's going to fall. Yeah, and be careful. They are a little bit top-heavy because of the giant heads, of course, you're going to notice. And we flew. We flew. Yay. Awesome. That's pretty much it for this episode, guys. I just really wanted to go around and show you guys the really basics. Um, next episode, I'm actually gonna show you guys mods, all the m different crazy mods that I've installed, because I have a lot of mods, and, yeah, we're gonna have some really cool fun with that, and I also have some crazy ships that I have involved, and I think I'm gonna take, like, the next two episodes or so, um, going over all those, um, yeah, it depends, because there's quite a bit of mods that I have installed, and we'll just... I'll just start going through all of them. And once I'm done going through all those, um, my plan is to actually start going to, like, make some actual crazy spacecraft. So, we'll take a look at what we can do with that. Um, 
Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, I was Mark. Or I was Mark. This has been Kerbal Space Program. I'm Mark. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Bye-bye.